Panjshir remains unconquered by Taliban. The Panjshir Valley of Afghanistan is the place where the anti-Taliban forces working to form a guerrilla movement to take on the Islamic fundamentalist group. Panjshir Valley is located 150 kilometers or 93 miles northeast of the capital, Kabul. Some of the senior members of the ousted government are leading to form guerrilla like the deposed Vice President Anrullah Saleh and ex-Defense Minister Bishmila Muhammadi. Salah said on Twitter that I will never ever and under no circumstances bow to the Taliban terrorists. I will never betray the soul and legacy of my hero Ahmad Shah Massoud, the commander, the legend, and the guide. The geographical position of Panjshir Valley is almost closing off from the rest of the country. The only entrance to the region is the usage of a narrow passage created by the Panjshir River, which can be defended by military. The region tucked into the Hindu Kush mountains which never fell to the Taliban during the civil war of 1990s. Panjshir Valley is the last place of Afghanistan that will resist the Islamic extremist group. The valley has 150,000 inhabitants belong to the Tajik ethnic group. The majority of the Taliban are Pashtuns. The valley is rich in emeralds. This was used to finance the resistance against those in power. Panjshir Valley is considered as the safest regions in Afghanistan during the time of the NATO-backed government from 2001 to 2021. Ahmad Shah Massoud is the most famed anti-Taliban fighter who led the resistance against the Islamic fundamentalist group from his stronghold in the Panjshir Valley until he died in 2001. Ahmad Shah went on to resist the communist government in Kabul and the Soviet Union, then he became one of the country's most influential Mujahideen commanders. In 1989, Massoud and his United Front, also known as the Northern Alliance, successfully controlled not only the Panjshir Valley but almost all of northeastern Afghanistan up to the border with China and Tajikistan, protecting the region from the Taliban. Masood built democratic institutions and strongly believed that women should be given an equal place in the society. He wants to unify Afghanistan in which ethnic and religious boundaries. But the Human Rights Watch organization accused Masood and his united front of committing massive human rights violations in the battle for Kabul during the civil war. In 2001, Masood was killed by suspected Al-Qaeda militants. Now the son of Ahmad Shah Masood, Ahmad Masood is hoping to continue the father's footsteps. Masood, who closely resembles his father in appearance and habits, commands in a militia in the valley. I write from the Panjshir Valley today, ready to follow in my father's footsteps, with Mujahideen fighters who are prepared to once again take on the Taliban, he said. It is not yet clear how strong this new anti-Taliban resistance movement and it is not yet clear how the Taliban will react to it. If we can take the Taliban at their word, then Panjshir should be safe because the war in Afghanistan is over. The Taliban have pledged to stop using force, which suggests that they will leave areas not controlled by the Taliban alone, but we will have to wait and see. But if an organized military resistance forms in the region, I don't think it's out of the question that the Taliban will go against it. And if they do, they will win quickly and easily. Michael Kruverman, a South Asia expert at the Washington-based Wilson Center, told DW.